Hi everybody, it's Leonie from WCKI and today I would like to show you the bamboo stitch. Just how lovely is that? Let me just move it a little bit so you can see the effect. It is pretty easy and the effect that it has, it is just too beautiful. This is my charity and I'm knitting with Charity Chunky and this color is called porcelain. It is not white, but it's also not cream. It's somewhere in between. It's a lovely color, and this stitch gives the most beautiful effect. So I have to show you how this is done. I'm using my uh, circular needles here because I've got a lot of stitches on here. So let me show you how you do the bamboo stitch. I'm just going to start off my two rows. My pattern that I'm busy with asks for that the first two stitches is just guard to stitch. So let me just get that out the way. Right. Now to do the bamboo stitch. You're going to put your yarn over your needle like that. Then you're going to knit two stitches. But a word of warning, don't pull this tight. So let's make two stitches, or rather knit two stitches, one and two. Now you're going to take, there where you put your yarn over needle, you are now going to take that stitch and you're going to pull it over. Now if you made this too tight, if you pulled that too tight, you will not be able to pull this over both your stitches. You are going to be challenged. So don't make it too tight. And also, I like to keep my finger on the needle here for in case I pull those stitches off. So you slip your needle in and you pull it over both those stitches. Just like that. And there I've made my bamboo stitch effect. Let's do another one. So you got your wool, you wind it over the needle or just bring it over the needle. It's yarn over the needle. Knit one stitch and knit a second stitch. And we're going to take that bit that we've, that we've wound over the, the, the needle. We're going to take that and pull it over. And there you have it. Again, I have to repeat, do not wind the yarn over the needle and pull it tight like that. You don't want to do that. Just let it loosely hang over the needle. And then you knit your one and two stitches. And then you take it and you pull it over. And look at that lovely effect. Now you're going to do this right through or the pattern asks that I repeat this stitch across the entire row. But there's a second row to this stitch. So this is your first row. And then when I get to the end of my row, the next row I'm going to make will just be a row of pole stitches right across. And that is how beautiful and easy it is to do the bamboo stitch. It feels absolutely lovely and it looks awesome. I can imagine all kinds of colors already in this jacket that I'm busy making here. <laughs> so let me show you the bamboo stitch once more. This is row one on your bamboo stitch. So you've got your yarn over your needle, knit one stitch and knit the second stitch and then we pull it over. So make sure that you pull it over both the stitches and you don't accidentally pull the stitch off the needle because then you're going to have a bit of a, a mistake. Let me show you once more. Yarn over, knit one stitch, knit your second stitch and then we take our stitch there that we just wound over and we pull it over both the stitches. Look how lovely. 
I'm going to quickly knit to the end of my row and then show you how to do the second row on this bamboo stitch. Now as I mentioned that my pattern asks that my first two stitches and my last two stitches is just garter stitch. So every row, those the first two and the last two stitches will just be normal two knit stitches. Now I've done row the first row for my bamboo stitch. You can see there every time you pull the stitch over it makes that lovely loop there. So now for the second row see what the back side looks like or the wrong side. It's beautiful. Even the wrong side is beautiful. Oh, I've got a funny colour piece of wool that snuck in there. I'll fix that up now. But now for row two so that was now row one and for row two let me just get my two edge stitches out the way for row two you are just going to pull no fancy pulling stitches over nothing whatsoever just pull and that is row two. You can use this bamboo stitch. You can use it for a scarf. You can even on our, I just want to put this down carefully so I don't pull my stitches off. You can use this in a scarf. Um, if you want to try this in our Sloppy Joe jersey, you can use this as a variation on your Sloppy Joe jersey. As long as your stitches work out in multiples of two. If, however, you would like to make it in a jersey and you have an uneven number of stitches, I will then just do a knit stitch. Because it's on the edge, when you sew up your jersey, you won't even see that or your garment that you're making. But that is a lovely variation um, on a normal knit stitch. So it's just two knit stitches and then you pull your stitch over. Yarn over needle knit two stitches and pull it over and on the second row or the wrong side row we just pull and that is how you do the bamboo stitch i hope you enjoy the stitch and please do come and show what you've done with your bamboo stitch have fun everybody see you next time